Hi, right, greetings everybody. Kevin Lacey here again with you for another episode of Flat Like He Stole It. Uh, today I'm down here in Jacksonville, Florida, and what I have done is managed to come up with what I think you would call a barn find. Uh, I have purchased a Cessna 172, and I have sight unseen actually, <laughs> kind of unfortunate for me, but uh, Anyway, this little uh, airplane that I'm buying here, I've come down here with a road kit full of tools, and my intention is to prep this airplane, get it all ready to go, and fly. I'm gonna fly it back to Texas here this week or so. Now, some of the things that I've had to do to it is disassemble it. It's been out of annual for quite a while. So I've had to disassemble the airplane, give it a good inspection, and I'm running through issues that are normal for one of these airplanes. First off, let me show you what I've got here. This is 1972 Cessna 172. Nice looking little airplane. It's in Florida, so corrosion is a little bit of an issue here, but it's not too terribly bad on this one. In fact, it's a whole lot better than I was expecting. I do have a few areas that I am concerned with. However, I've come down here, we've run the engine. I've wound up having the mechanical difficulties that is kind of normal. First off, the vacuum pump, which drives the uh, flight instruments in the airplane, uh, took a dive on me, it quit. So first thing to do was to get the airplane running. That required a brand new battery. I got the airplane running with the battery in it. Vacuum pump took a dump on me, so I had to put a new vacuum pump on there. You can see here I've already changed the oil in the airplane. I put a brand new spanking new oil filter on it. I ran it and did an oil change, did a compression check on it. Compression was good, it was all in the high 70s. Uh, however, just because of the age and the nature of the engine, uh, and the nature of this little beast here, I decided that it would be prudent to change hoses as well. So I put a new hose here from a vacuum lines, put brandy, fabricated and put brand new oil cooler lines. This is engine oil going down to a cooler down over there on the other side. Two, two, fuel, two hoses for that. Also fabricated and installed a new fuel line for the, uh, from the gas glader to the carburetor. I've, just simply because I knew the airplane was out of date, I've changed the vacuum, central vacuum filter and the regulator filter as well. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm inspecting the aircraft and going through doing an annual inspection. As you can see, part of the other problems with the airplane were tires. We've already disposed of the other ones, but I've already put three new tires on the airplane here. So every time I turn around, I'm spending more and more money than uh, what you would anticipate. However, just so you get to see what's going on, you see this little knob right, this little lever here, it goes down here. And I don't know if you can see down there, but that's a fuel selector valve. So when I got here, first thing I did, put gas in the airplane and fuel's leaking out of the selector valve. So I had to disassemble that, replace that, a bunch of O-rings on that as well. Let me show you what their instrument panel sort of looks like. I've got it disassembled, performing an inspection on the airplane. But uh, at any rate, this is a, what I call a little barn find. Now, if you'll stand by, the lights in this hangar are on electric timers, so I'm gonna go turn the lights back on. Yeah, that's driving me nuts. I'm trying to work well after the normal hours. Any rate, part of this inspection requires removing all the inspection panels, lubricating the aircraft. The inspection panels are removed from both wings. You can see the holes all in the belly of the airplane here. Looking down in there for any kind of corrosion or any other problems that might be found in here. Uh, work your way all the way around the airplane, down through the tail. Got a pretty nice little old Cessna sitting here. I don't know if this little GoPro will do the job and show you back down through there, but anyway, I've been looking this airplane over pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what I've come up with so far. I now spent two days on here, down here with the airplane now at this point in time, and I anticipate having it all back together again tomorrow. It's getting late in the day now, but I've been working pretty long hours. I've got to go do the homework. The homework being the paperwork. <clears throat> because the airplane hasn't been annual in several years, there's a lot of airworthiness directives that need to be researched and verified whether they can apply to this aircraft or not. Previous award and his directives have been addressed in the log books. I've had a chance to research those, so those aren't too terribly bad. At any rate, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick little walk around in case you don't know what I've been up to here lately. This is what it's been. 
living in a hotel and living on a nice little airplane that hopefully will become part of the Texas Air Fleet Squadron and you might see us running around at air shows in the near future and hopefully we might be able to give youngins their first airplane ride in this sweet little dumpling right here provided I can manage to keep it in good shape and get it in good shape and keep it there by the way I also put a new alternator belt on it too right here that required removing the prop to do that I just sort of knew coming out of the box before I even came down here that there were going to be a certain number of things that I was going to have to do to the airplane just because of the amount of time it's been sitting and I have taken care of most of those items now I'm getting close closing in on the short roads now so right now it's just weather between here and Texas that's uh, really causing me procrastination on departure time so I'm utilizing this time here to further inspect the aircraft and get deeper and deeper into it. Anyway, look forward to talking to y'all later on. Have a good day. Adios.